Hi guys, today I want to talk about loving your enemies. So in order to love your enemy, you have to treat them with respect and love them. If they say something that you don't agree with, just don't just ignore them. Just uh, just try to say something else with them or just try to talk with someone else entirely. Although that's at least if they keep disagreeing with you or keep getting mad at you. When I was in high school, I, I was trying to make friends with a guy who was taller than me and he was African American. And I said some things and I tried to be nice to him and uh, he said a lot of things that I didn't agree with. And because I just didn't personally like all the things that he liked and he just got mad at me because he thought I said that just to annoy him which I wasn't I don't know why he thought that but I said those things because I didn't I didn't like all the things that he liked or he talked about so instead I just talked to other people instead so I'm telling you guys this in the future when you guys meet someone and you talk about something that the other person doesn't like or they talk about something that you don't like um, and it just can you guys continually just don't agree with all the things you like and get mad at each other don't argue with each other just either talk about something else or just walk away and talk to someone else please do not try to argue with them or not do not try to think that you're annoying them like like the other student that I talked about uh, did to me in high school. That relates to some Bible verses that I have here. So it says, let me see. Here we go. It says right here in Matthew 5.44. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. It also says right here in Luke twenty-eight or Luke six twenty-eight, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. So always, basically, always pray for the people who are being mean to you. I always pray regardless because I always want the best for me in life, no matter what the situation is, whether I'm getting bullied or whether people aren't nice to me or whether things aren't going well for me. But you should especially pray for those who are being mean to you and bullying you. Like I got bullied, like when I got bullied in high school and also a lot more in elementary school. Although now I've come a long way because now I'm older and now I know better. That's what this is trying to say. Let me see. It says here in First John chapter 4 verse 7, Be loved. Let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. It makes sense. If you two love each other as friends, not as romantically, but as friends, and you could potentially get to know God, too. Or, I mean, sorry, well, that's, try that's not what that's trying to say. What that's trying to say is... If you love God first, then you can love others, because God wants us to love others, not just love ourselves, because then that's selfish. This is one I really like. It's but it's chapter six, verse thirty-five of Luke. But love your enemies and do good and lend expecting nothing in return and your reward will be great and you will be sons of the most high for he himself is kind and kind to ungrateful and evil men so basically do great things and you'll be rewarded rewarded with great things by being nice to people that is gonna move on to a different source see here what do we got this 
Some of these I don't really like as much as the other source because either they're too long or they're too irrelevant. But I'll try to find the best ones I got here. Here we go. Here's a verse I like. It's Luke chapter 6, verse 31. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. So if they do nice things to you, you have to do the same to them. Now, if you try to be nice to them and they're not being nice to you, like people I've experienced in my past, then again, just walk away from them and find someone else to talk to or hang out with. Don't spend time trying to fix your mistake and try to be better and try to be their friend. No, just just move on and find someone else to talk to. Okay, here we go. Matthew 5.43 You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Now that kind of contradicts talking about you should you should love your enemy but here it says hate your enemy and love your neighbor so I think we should actually love both our neighbor and enemy because I looked up verses that talk about how to love your enemies and here it says one that you should hate your enemy that's kind of that's kind of flawed and it kind of contradicts with the lesson contradicts with the with what I research, but I don't know. Maybe that wasn't as good as I thought it was. Um, what other verses are there? And some of these are ones I've already talked about both in this video and my prior videos. Speaking of which, this is a this is kind of like a continue kind of like a continuation of the last video, not the video before that, but the video before this one. So I'll link the video in the description below to talk about that talks about um, what I talked about in the previous video, which is happiness and kindness. I will also link the sources below too. Of where I got this information from. It's always good to cite your sources. But basically, the moral of this video is to be kind to each other and love each other and respect people, even if they're mean, whether, you're, whether they're nice to you or mean to you, you have to respect them regardless. And this falls into the workplace too. Excuse me. If you work with someone at work that's not being nice to you, or you don't think that they're as good of a hard worker as you are, like you don't like their work ethic, or you think their work ethic is wrong, you have to respect them. You have to love them and be kind to them and, re and respect them the best you can and hope the best for them and stuff. Even if they are, even if they are good workers or are nice people, even if they have a disability or if something doesn't work right with them or if they work things differently you have to respect people regardless of their circumstances regardless if they're your enemies or your friends you have to respect all people not just your best friends or your family members but everybody that you encounter in the world if you don't respect everybody in the world then you're going to have conflict and that's not a good thing conflict is bad I know that because I've been in several conflicts in my life, both with my family members and with classmates, but that was mainly because the classmates started the conflicts, not me. I was just trying to be myself and be friendly and stuff, but they took it wrong. I thought I was being annoying. I thought I was 
not trying to be friends with them, even though I was trying to be friends with them. So, yeah, the moral is try to be nice to people. Anyways, that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys, and I'll link those link those sources in the description below as well. That's all I have to say for this video. Have a good day. Peace out. Goodbye.